Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this section of our Kafka tutorials, we will be learning to write Apache Kafka producers as well as Kafka consumers using Java. So if you have not subscribed to the channel already, now would be a great time to do so. And let's quickly get started. For the sake of these tutorials, we will be using IntelliJ as our IDE and we will be using Maven for dependency management. Now, if you are not sure about what Maven is and why is it used, you can check out my video on what is Maven. Also, it's not absolutely necessary to be using Maven in this tutorial. You might as well use Gradle or Ivy or any dependency manager that you want to use. All right, so let's get started. I have my IntelliJ IDEA open. So this is a Java IDE by JetBrains and it is like one of the best IDEs out there. So I highly recommend that you use IntelliJ. What I have here is the community version and it's pretty useful. All right, so I will be clicking on new project and I want it to be a Maven project. And um, okay, so I don't want to use SDK version 11 here. I will actually be using SDK 1.8. You can use any SDK, you can use the latest one. So it's, it's not an issue. I just want to do it in Java 8. So let me download this. It will take a couple of seconds and I'll see you at the other end of this. All right, the Java SDK is downloaded. Let's click on next and let this be um, Kafka examples. Let's finish this and our project will get created. All right, you can see that my project Kafka examples has been created. Um, here is the main package with the Java folder. And here is my pom.xml file, which you can see open. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add whatever dependencies we will be needing so that we can write Java code to interact with Apache Kafka. For that, you need to head on over to your browser and you need to open the website mvnrepository.com. Now, the very first thing that we will be searching for here is Kafka. So you can type Kafka in the search bar and hit on search. And the one that we are going to pick is Kafka clients. So let me click on this. My version for Kafka in my local machine is 2.6.0. And right here, I can see the XML format for adding this dependency in the pom.xml file. So let me simply copy this and head back over to IntelliJ. So what I'm gonna do here is introduce a new tag, which is called dependencies. And within that, I am going to add the one that I just copied. So as you can see right now, this is all in red. And if I hover over this, um, it will tell me that this particular dependency is not found. So generally IntelliJ will resolve these uh, dependencies or download these dependencies for you automatically. But in my case, it did not for some reason. So I am going to have to resolve them manually. Now for that, I am going to head on over to view, uh, tool windows, and I am going to have to click on Maven. And this small icon right here is what is used to reload the Maven projects and their dependencies. Let me click on this. Okay, we can see that it is trying to resolve our dependency. And within a matter of seconds, these libraries have been downloaded. And now IntelliJ no longer says that it cannot find the org.apache.kafka.kafka clients library. All right, that was cool, but we are going to need one more library here, which is the SLF4j library. So the one that we are looking for is SLF4j simple. Uh, now this library is used for logging and we need to import this as well. So I'm going to go with version 1.7.30. Let me simply copy this again and head back to IntelliJ. Let me paste this here. I don't need the scope. And see, again, it, it does not resolve it automatically. So I'll go here and refresh this. It should resolve it just within a second. And yes, it's done. All right, so I don't need this anymore. And let's go ahead and create a new Java package. For that, I am going to come in this source 
main java folder and i'm going to right click and say new package and let me name it anything like com dot example dot kafka and hit enter all right so our package is created uh, let me now create a new java class so that we know that everything is running correctly let me call it producer demo or let me just call it producer okay so our class gets created uh, i'll increase the font size just a bit and let me go ahead and say psvm we have the main method and i'll say system system dot out dot print ln let's say hello kafka let me put a semicolon and let's just try to run this program just to see that everything works correctly or not okay but before that i made a small typo this should be a small p and what happens when i try to run this program all right we can see the output hello kafka and this shows us that everything is working correctly so that is all we had for this video guys in our next video we will actually be writing some code to create a java producer which produces or writes certain messages into our kafka topic so if you like the content of this video please do hit the like button if you like the content of my channel please click subscribe you can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.